Equations of circles, KC 2010. Question number 16. The circle shown below cuts the x-axis at negative 2, 0 and 4, 0. It also cuts the y-axis at 0, 2 and 0, negative 4. So you can see the circle there. Determine the A part 1 coordinates of the center, one mark. Part 2, the radius of the circle, one mark. And then part B, equation of the circle in the form x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by is equals to c, where a, b, and c are constants. Two marks. So let's go to the first part of the question. We're supposed to determine the coordinates of the center of the circle. Now this is how we determine the coordinates of the center. Just look at this line uh, where it cuts the x-axis at negative 2, 0 and we have also 4, 0. So if we get the bisector of that line, it will definitely pass through the center. The bisector of this line which passes through negative um, 2, 0 and 4, 0. If we bisect it, let's say we'll have uh, the center there. That line would pass through the center of the circle and it will give us the x coordinate of the center of the circle. So how do we get the coordinates of the center of that uh, line or the midpoint of that line? That line beginning from negative 2 to 4. This is how we get it. So you just um, take this. This is negative 2, 0. And we have 4, 0. So this is how we get the midpoint. This point. So you take the x. We add the x coordinate. And then we divide by 2. So negative 2 plus 4. So negative 2 plus 4. Divide by 2. Then 0 plus 0. Divide by 2. It will be 0 divided by 2. So this will give uh, this will give two divided by two. You get one zero. So already this one has given us the coordinate, the x coordinate of the center. Since the center will have its x coordinate, it will be somewhere else here, but the x coordinate will be one. Now to get the y coordinate, we will have to check the other line that runs from uh, zero to and uh, 0, negative 4. Again, we have to bisect. We have to get the we bisect that line. By bisecting, we are getting the midpoint. The midpoint of that line. That line from 0, 2 to 0, negative 4. So that will give us the y coordinate. The y coordinate will be obtained by that. So we get that. So we have 0, 2 and uh, 0, negative 4. So we get the midpoint. This will be 0 plus 0 divided by 2. Then 2 plus minus 4. It will be 2 minus 4 divided by 2. And this one will give 0. This will be minus 2 divided by 2 will be minus 1. So now we have obtained the y coordinate. Now the center, the center will be easy. We already have the x coordinate of the center, which is 1. So 1, then the y coordinate of the center, which will be negative 1. And therefore the center Simple. is 1, Simple. negative 1. Now after getting that, now we can, so here is the center and the center. Uh, the center is uh, where we have 1, negative 1. So this point, we got it as, this one we got it as 1, 0. And this one we got it as 0, negative 1. You can see, from this point, we are able to get the y coordinate. Then from this point, we are able to get the x coordinate. It's as simple as that. So from there, um, we can get the radius. Now to get the radius, we simply need to join any part of the circumference to the center of the circle. And I will join I will join this part 
uh, let me join it properly. So I will join 4 to the center. Then I will get the magnitude. The magnitude will give me the radius, the distance. So any part of this, also this one can work from the center to 2 or from center to this negative 2, any can work. So I'll join the center to this part. So let me get the coordinate of that uh, line I will get. So 1, negative 1. And this one is, this one is uh, 4, 0. So using this, this one is the line. I get the magnitude. You know how to get the magnitude. So get the magnitude. And the magnitude is... Uh, So let me uh, repeat this. So this is what I'm doing. I have joined the center to any part of the circumference. In this case, I've joined the center to this point four zero. So I want to get this the radius. This is the radius. So to get the radius, you simply need to get the magnitude. So I'll use this point one negative one and four zero. So getting the magnitude or the distance or the distance this is how you get it. So you get the difference in the the displacement in the x coordinate so 1 minus 4 1 minus 4 1 minus 4 then you square then plus displacement in the y coordinate negative 1 minus 0 negative 1 uh, minus 0 I'm sorry minus 0 like that and then you square that get the square root that will give you the magnitude so get the displacement in the x coordinate that is 1 minus 4 then you square that then the displacement in the y coordinate that is uh, negative 1 minus 0 then you square that so this will give um, negative 3 squared will give 9 then plus this will give negative 1 negative 1 squared is 1 so you get the square root of the square root of 10 and the square root of 10 will be given by 3.162 units. So that is uh, how you get the radius of the circle. Now the equation of the circle, this other question, the equation of the circle. In the form x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by is equal to c where a, b and c are constants. So the first thing is to write the standard equation of a circle is given by x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equals to r squared where a b is the center a b is the center and in this case the center of the circle is one negative one so a is a one b is negative one so you just need to substitute we just need to substitute here so x so we have x minus 1 a is 1 then you square that plus y minus b you have to be very careful minus b and b is already minus 1 eh? so therefore this will be positive 1 because uh, b is minus 1 so minus minus 1 which will give positive 1 then you square that is equals to radius let us go with the uh, root 10 root 10 that is the radius then you square that square that so when you expand this x minus 1 squared you get x squared minus 2x plus 1 when you expand y plus 1 you get uh, plus y squared plus 2y plus 1 is equals to when you square this root 10 squared will give you 10 so let us uh, reorganize these so that we can give it in this form so we have x squared plus y squared then uh, minus 2x then plus 2y then you can see 1 plus 1 will be 2 so we need to take the constant c to the other side so we'll have um, z equals 2 we take this uh, 1 plus 1 we give 2 you take 2 to the other side to be 10 minus 2 which will give 8 Simple. and that is uh, how Simple. you solve that question